Hey guys, welcome back to another custom ROM review for OnePlus 5T. This time we have Android 16 based Evolution X ROM. And I have been using this ROM about a week now. It is working pretty well and you can say one of the best ROM you can get for OnePlus 5T. So as you can see here Android 16, the Evolution X version is 11.0. Security patch level is 1st August 2025. This is an unofficial version of Evolution X for this device. And the UI is pretty damn good actually. It's pretty nice, pretty smooth and kind of one of the best UI you can get for OnePlus 5T. Control panel as usual, just like Android 16 based ROM. Nothing new here. For customization, we do get Evolver section. Now they have removed many customization options from Evolver section. But most of the useful customization is still available. In the theme section, we do get Monet, Icon Pack and few other things, all those things are viable. Log Skin option is a viable. Status Bar, Quick Setting, all these things are still available. In the Miscellaneous setting, we do get Component Spoofing. And one thing which is not working here is like Safety Net. Safety Net is not a viable and it is kind of hard to fix. And other things like Play Store. Google Photos Unlimited Storage, higher FPS in game, all these things are a Bible. In terms of network connectivity, Bluetooth, Wi Fi, Hotspot working perfectly fine, Bo LT and Bo Wi Fi not working. Although the options are a Bible, as you can see here, Bo LT option and Bo Wi Fi option a Bible, but they don't work. In the connected device option, we do get NFC, and NFC is also working, Quick Share is also working. In terms of network connectivity, I haven't faced any issue actually. Obviously, Bo LTE and Bo Wi Fi not working, and I haven't found any ROM where the Bo LTE and Bo Wi Fi are working. In the app section, we do get default apps, cloned apps, app lock, game space, and sidebar. So, sidebar, if you want, you can enable it. As you can see here, it is working. And few other things here notification, pretty much similar. Sound and vibration working well, no issue at all. And we do get part of volume control option here and few other things as you can see here media, live caption and all those things. Modes are viable. The display section we do get adaptive brightness working perfectly fine. And few other things here. Double tap to awake and double tap to sleep working, no issue at all. This ROM is pretty fast actually. I haven't found like any lag or anything like that. It's kind of amazing. Wallpaper and style. More wallpapers. So we do get AI wallpaper and emoji workshop working perfectly fine and few other Google wallpapers. In the more lock screen setting, we do get AOD, obviously ambient display, and we can turn it on. So as you can see here, looks good. It is the same clock as the lock screen one. As you can see here, the animation also good. And you can choose clock as you can see here. And also we do get few shortcut options and few other options here. In terms of storage, by default it's going to take 12 to 15 GB of storage. Kind of okay. And in terms of battery, so I did try 15 based Evolution X ROM, which is one of the excellent ROM you can get for battery backup. On this ROM, it is a little bit less. You can expect 3 hours of SOT from this ROM. But if you want a best ROM for battery backup, you can go with the previous ROM I have reviewed, Evolution X, which is based on Android 15. And in the system setting, we are getting few options here. In the button option, we do get additional buttons and we can customize the Silent switch up to our liking. Security option. So we do get both face and finger pin unlock. Finger pin unlock is working perfectly fine. So as you can see here, pretty fast. No issue at all. If you want to use face unlock, you can use that too. In the more security option, we do get high developer status and few other things here. Sim lock option is also available and also theft protection. Privacy option is available. Location is working perfectly fine and few other things. The UI looks pretty good now and they have already removed few customization options like Nowar is not a viable right now. But most of the useful customization are still a viable and I really like like the lightweight ROM. 
so they are doing pretty well in terms of application this is a gfs build so we do get google application here but i have installed most of them actually so we are getting two camera application with this rom and we are getting google camera go which is working perfectly fine no issue at all video recording is also working and another camera application is open camera which is also working so as you can see here on the android 15 based evolution x rom there was camera related issue but on this rom no camera related issue working perfectly fine and in terms of google photos as i showed you unlimited storage is a viable and safety net is not a viable as you can see here setting about safety net is not a viable so you can't use bank apps and payment application and i don't really recommend anyone to use any kind of payment application or bank application on a custom rom not really secure and whatsapp is working perfectly fine in terms of phone call as i said bo lt and bo wifi not working and call recording is also not working although we do get background call recorder application but it does not really work well and as we are not getting any kind of safety net chat gpt is also not working because chat gpt does require safety net and in terms of other features we do get circle to search which is working perfectly fine as you can see here and in terms of gaming this is one of the best rom you can get for your oneplus 5t i did play call of duty in default setting the performance was really really good i haven't faced any multi-touch issue or anything like that the gaming performance was amazing no lag no hang or anything like that so in terms of gaming you can definitely go with this rom and overall the ui is pretty good ram management is also pretty good Anyway, if you are looking for Android 16 based ROM, there is not much a viable. This is the only ROM I think a viable for this device, which is based on Android 16. So if you are someone who is looking for Android 16 based ROM, you can definitely go with this ROM. This is one of the best one you can get for your device. So if you want to try this ROM, the ROM link will be in the description below. That's all about it. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.